we're gonna cover the two ways in which you can pull a snatch and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so when we're coaching the snatch, or when we're coaching that technique and we're thinking about how can we optimize the movement pattern of the barbell? How can we optimize the way that we're moving around the bar? How can we increase the weight on the actual bar? And first, it's pretty easy to just say, let's squat more, let's front squat more, let's do heavier pulls, let's do heavier pulls to target, things along those lines, that's strength-based. Okay, what we wanna look at is how can we actually execute the precise pull. And a lot of people have brought up this question because they know that I'm just a diehard Quo fan. I believe her technique along with Yuri Vardanian's technique is the greatest technique of all time. And I believe that you can take a kid who's in sixth grade and teach them how to do this movement pattern and build upon that year over year over year. And ultimately, even if they're not that great of an athlete, they're still going to pull really well. And that brings to light another question. Is there any other way to pull that is a little bit different from how Quo pulls. And what my goal now is to bring up another way to pull, show you how that works, demonstrate what I like, what I don't like, why this individual might be pulling this way, and if it's actually effective long-term. So we're gonna do a little bit of a comparison between Quo and Andre Aramno. Okay, so Andre Aramno was Olympic champion in 2008. He got popped after the 2008 Olympics. He had a couple run-ins with, with the law, I believe. I think he had some issues with, with drinking and somehow came back and broke the senior world record and was not ever caught with doping. But I think maybe let's just say he was clean. So I wanna compare Aram though to Quo, what their movement patterns look like because I've had discussions about what Aram though does right off the floor and even as he gets around the knee and I've seen other world-class lifters actually pull this way. So we're gonna go into it. We're gonna see each position. We're gonna refresh pulling from the floor to the knee, getting through no man's land, which is gonna be bottom of the knee to just into the reciprocation points is gonna be just above that kneecap or right around the bottom of the thigh from the reciprocation point into hip contact and then what that looks like on the finish. So we're gonna analyze this with each individual, comparing them, and then what we can do as we're taking this away, as we go back, as we're coaching individuals, or as you're going back into your training session. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are. We've got Quo and we've got Andre Aramno. Both individuals, I believe both ended up winning the world title at this. I know Quo did, I'm pretty sure Andre did as well. So let's just play this in, in full speed and then we'll come back and analyze this. That was in slow-mo. Both absolutely huge lifts. So let's go back and we'll go through each position, okay? So we got Quo going through here, nice and smooth. I'm gonna try and shrink this a little bit. Gets to the top. It's in that catch position, 106 kilos. She adjusts, she stands that up. Okay, great lift, right? We can see it from that angle. Boom, big finish, get to the top. So with Aram though, there's a couple big things that I wanna do. I wanna look at one, he's got 198 kilos on the bar. This is a senior world record in the 109K weight class at that time. So this is a huge, huge lift, like absolutely ungodly heavy for a non-super to do this. But then what are some unique things that he does in comparison to Quo? And then does that make it something that, does his technique, is, it, is his technique something that we can actually transfer to other athletes into actually coaching and improving technique? So that lift is so heavy, 198 kilos as a 109. So let's get into this. We're showing this lift from Aram though, and then I'm gonna do this quick comparison where you can see both lifters and a little bit of their, their differences. Now, I like to think about when we're looking at Quo, when we're watching her movement pattern right off of the floor, we can see that she tends to push those knees back. Her knees will go out a little bit, especially at that max attempt, but typically her shins are staying pretty vertical. Okay, so we can see that her knees clear back and then the, another hallmark issue that we see is that watch her hips here in her chest. Her hips and her chest rise together. That's a very, very classic thing for really, really good lifters. Your hips and your chest have to rise together. Okay, so with Quo, we see that the knees come back off the floor, the knees come back and the chest stays up. And you can see her posture there. Her posture just stays really, really consistent right off the floor. 
Now, the big thing I wanna see is with Quo, when she's at the bottom of the knee, what are her feet doing? Her feet are flat. And then even if we would go back to, let's say mid shin, right here, what are her feet doing? Her feet are flat. Okay, so we just need to remember that. Now let's get into Aram though and what he does. Okay, so we can see off the floor to the kneecap, he's pretty good with his chest and his hips rising together. I would say at this point right here, his hips might be rising a little bit quicker than his chest, um, but we can see that they're pretty, pretty equal, right? I would say the other thing that we wanna focus on is his knees tend to go out a little bit more. So he's tending to clear his knees out. Now, the biggest factor, and if we would go and look at Quo below the knee, okay, or let's say just like right at that kneecap. Let's go right, one more right there. Okay, we see Quo. And if we even go back to the start position, Aramno has his chest forward a, a bit more. Okay, his torso is not as long in relative proportion to Quo's. Now we go to that kneecap position. Knees are much more out. You know, his foot pressure is almost on the outside of his foot. I think you can sort of see that here. It's pretty clear on the outside of his foot. The biggest question that I get asked around Andre Aram though is what do I think about his heels? Because I tend to cue stay flat footed right off the floor. And along with him, there's a guy from Turkey who does this. There's a couple other world-class weightlifters who tend to pull more so on their toes. The first thing that I want to address is that if we compare this to Quo, Quo tends to push her knees back. You know, I guess center of mass would stay more so on that midfoot. Okay, she's gonna be loading her hamstrings when the knees clear back and her shins get vertical. One of the differences that we tend to see with Aram though, is that he's loading his quads a little bit more and his knees are going out. Okay, his knees are going out, so there's gonna be a little bit more quad action. He is still 100% getting action from both hamstrings, all three heads of the hamstring on each side. He is absolutely loading his hamstring, but more so, way, way more so his quad, and he's pulling with that heel elevated. Now, some coaches have argued to me that we actually should be coaching that toe base pull. Okay, so that's why I wanted to, to bring this up. Now, if we can see how long he tends to say, so now he's getting through no man's land. So no man's land, if we compare that to Quo, she's getting around that knee. And then right here, okay, we start to see her knees come through. She's got that knee bend coming through and at this position, and even when we go down, you know, just above the knee, she's still flat-footed. Here, as she gets her knees through, she gets much more knee flexion, and she's starting to bring the hips through as her chest rises, okay? So this is something that we could even see from this, go to this other angle right here. We can see with Quo, her shins are back, or her shins are pretty vertical right there. You can start to see she's pretty loaded. She's got that upper back nice and tight very classic really good technique and then as the bar gets over the kneecap she starts to slide those knees under she starts to flex and then she rises that chest up so she gets the chest vertical while she's still flat footed okay so we don't see a heel pop until she's making contact now with aram though he's just above that knee he's still elevated on the toe okay he's still loading 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 now the unique part here he gets almost like this stretch shortening cycle through his quad, and then he pushes that heel back down, okay? And now he's gonna be getting back into this position where now he's starting to make contact, and if you notice, he's sitting through into the heel, okay? So now he's keeping that bar closer, he's sitting through into the heel. The difference I would say here in this position is that Quo, let's go to the last, the last sequence where Aram knows flat-footed. Aram those flat footed right here. Maybe a slight heel pop, okay? With Quo, if we get back right here, we can see this is that last position. I would argue that based off of this, Quo keeps the bar a hair tighter and what happens is she gets a little bit more vertical with her chest before she gets into the midfoot before she starts to really extend. So now right here, this is where her heel pops and she's totally vertical with the chest. So her hips are extended. And then what we'll see is after right here, we have knee flexion. After this hip extension period, then she extends her knees. The big discussion becomes right here when the heels pop, 
Quo tends to be more vertical with her chest. The argument I will make is that Aram though gets right here and he's a hair more forward at this position with his chest, okay? He's a hair more forward, just a little bit. Keeping in mind, this is 198 kilos, an absolutely phenomenal lift. Now, he gets through that full extension here and it's almost as if, you know, same thing I'd say, hips, then his knees extend there. His chest comes behind the bar, I would argue, much more aggressively than Quo. Quo has a bit more of an upright vertical finish. Aram though almost looks like he's getting way behind the bar. And the where I would argue here is that that leaves the bar just a hair forward. Okay, so just a hair forward in his catch. Again, it's 198 kilos, but I'm gonna try and bring this all together. So he has to take a step forward right there to save that 198 kilo snatch. Now we watch Quo. She gets to a flat foot so well. Watch how quickly she gets to that flat foot. Boom. It's like toe, flat foot, toe, flat foot, toe, flat foot, boom. And then that bar is in good position. She's a hair forward, hair forward, but she can correct that uh, with that crazy dorsiflexion that she has right in this position. And then she stands that up for that 106. That was a huge make. You know, she had missed 106 on her second lift. So, what do I think about the toe lift, the toe snatch? I think that when it comes down to uh, what we need to analyze is that every athlete will have their, you know, are they long limbed? If they're long limbed, they're gonna pull more like Yuri Vardanian, who's got really long legs. I would even argue they'll pull more like Quo. Quo has legs that are pretty much, I wouldn't say she's short, short limbed. I would say she's somewhere in the middle. I know some people will argue she's more short legged, but I think she's almost exactly like in the middle. And you can see even with that, the moderate leg length, she pushes her knees back and then they flex again. With Aram though, he pulls more through that front foot and his heels rise really, really hard. My whole argument here is that this is a movement pattern that we might see in young athletes who come into our gym here. And it's something that if they do this over a long period of time, they'll develop consistency. But I would not say that this is the best way to teach the lift. I would recognize that it is 100% feasible to be a world-class lifter and have your heels pop that way. But typically what I tend to see happen is that when someone is younger, okay, let's say sixth, seventh, eighth grade, you know, even in high school, and we're teaching them how to snatch for sports performance or even for weightlifting, if their heels pop as high as his heels popped on that 198K lift, everything tends to go forward. Then they tend to have this pendulum result, like a, a big seesaw backwards with their center of mass. And when their center of mass comes far back behind the bar, now they have to jump backwards to receive that position, to receive that barbell. And then typically they'll either loop it behind or they have to run it down. So it is possible, but when it comes down to it, I think it's better to teach Quo's technique to push through that flat foot as long as possible, keep the bar as tight as possible at all costs, I like to teach getting the shins vertical, so pushing those knees back. When we see Quo's position just over the knee, when the bar gets just over the knee, her hamstrings had just been lengthened, okay? Now her quads are lengthening. There's a tremendous co-contraction around the knee that also enters into her hip joint, okay, from the hamstrings that leads to more stability. When there's more stability there, now it provides a greater foundation for her to accelerate through the finish and then lead to more quiet positions. Okay, she, there's not as much movement. There's not as much unnecessary movement that Quo would have relative to Aramno. So when we're starting off with lifters, if we see that heel popping, I recommend trying to alleviate that position. Try to use slow, low hang positions. Use low hang cleans. Use pump snatches from the floor to the knee and then back and forth to ingrain that flat footed position. Now, if you have an athlete comes in and they've been lifting for seven to eight years and they have just a little bit of a heel uh, elevation on a heavy pull, I don't think it's a huge issue, but I would target their posterior chain a bit more. I would do more single leg squats and again, some more low hang snatches and low hang cleans with really, really slow eccentrics to try and wake up those hamstrings a bit more. And I would cue them to have a little bit more of a vertical chest off the floor. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of pushing those knees out in comparison to pushing those knees back 
to clear room for the barbell to go vertical. So that's another big factor. I think people who tend to clear their knees out, they tend to have the shin angle stay forward, and then that can lead to a little bit of a gap problem as the bar clears over the kneecap and then into the hip. So those are all things that we've gotta be aware of. We have to analyze our athletes, but also know what are we doing from the floor to the knee? I would still go down to use closed position, push those knees back off the floor. What are we doing through no man's land? We wanna stay flat footed and let the chest rise, okay? So that's gonna help keep the bar tight around the knee. What's happening at the reciprocation point just above the knee? That's where we're pushing through the heels, the chest comes up a little bit more, the knees will flex under. From the reciprocation point into the hip, we wanna stay as flat footed as possible so that we're vertical when we're making contact, lead through that big extension, and then that nice, fast, catch. So I hope you enjoyed this. Comment down below with what you would prefer to use with your technique, Andre Aramno or Quo. What do you think? Is it absolutely detrimental? Would Andre Aramno have snatched 200 kilos if he would push through the floor with those heels? Probably not because he did this over a long period of time. But comment down below. If you guys need help with your weightlifting programming or technique, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up a weightlifting specific program today to help you hit those monster PRs and the snatch and the clean and jerk. Because remember, freaks, if you want to become a champion, you've always got to cultivate your power. Peace.